All right, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to set up NADN on your home system within 10 minutes. Let me see if I can get it done within 10 minutes. It's super easy once you know what to do. And I found that using Cloudflare Tunnel is the easiest way to do it. Now, I've got a domain that I've registered with Cloudflare. Initially, you don't have to. You can still use a service if you registered your domain. Otherwise, I do also believe that this would work with other dynamic domains, but you know, don't take my word for it. Look it up. But if you register your own domain, what it costs, maybe 10, 12 bucks for a year or something. After that, there shouldn't be any cost to hosting your own, essentially, which is great. So first thing I want to do is in Cloudflare, you set up your account, you make sure it's registered, and then you go into Zero Trust here, and we're going to set up a under networks, under tunnel, we're gonna add a tunnel and we're gonna set cloud flared, which is what it's called. And let me go there. Add a tunnel. Okay, now tunnel name, you can just name it whatever you want here. This is just a name, right? So save the tunnel. All right, so now I'm on a Mac, so it's got, it has instructions for the Mac specifically. If you have Windows, you'll download the client here, and this is essentially a service that runs on your system so that it can interface with Cloudflare and create the secure tunnel. So the great thing about this is that you don't have to set up HTTPS, you don't have to set up certificates, you don't have to do port forwarding. This the service that runs on your system basically does all that for you, and it's like magic, but yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and put it into here uninstalled before so we're going to go and try this now okay okay password here okay so it's installed successfully and you'll see here down here it'll pop up as connected here the other way i can confirm this is if i go back to tunnels and it shows here that the tunnel is healthy so this just signifies that it's connected and running all that good stuff. The thing you want to do here is in here, you'll configure this tunnel. This is one of the important parts. So under public host name, we're going to add a public host name here. You can name the subdomain, whatever you want. I'm just going to say NADN. Um, this is the available domains will show up here. So I'm using this domain and then type, you'll do HTTP and local host. 5678, which is the port that is the standard port that NNN on Docker uses. So I know it's a bit confusing. It might be confusing for some. Why would you use HTTP versus HTTPS? So the connection coming in is secure, and this is really just, you know, within your system, it's creating an HTTP basically redirect for all intents and purposes. So I'm going to go ahead and save this host name. It says that org exists because I had set this up before and, and basically had erased everything except I didn't fully erase everything. So let me go back in here to DNS record. So I'm going to go ahead and delete my previous record that I had in here. You wouldn't have to do this because it would not have existed. So I'm going to go back into my zero trust. Let's try this again. Networks under tunnels under here, and I'm going to click on this configure and then public host name, and we're going to add it. Here we go, N8N, we'll go ahead and select domain. HTTP, localhost, 5678, and we'll save it. All right, so it successfully saved it. And then when I go back into this particular domain and under DNS, we will see that it did add, add a record here and it proxied it here so that this will create automatically when you set up the tunnel and that the public entry there. So that's all we need to do with Cloudflare. Let's go ahead and go over to Docker. And so here, you know, there's a couple different ways you want to set this up. If you're not familiar with how to the volumes and everything, I'm just going to make this super easy. I'm going to paste a command in here and it'll do everything for you. But essentially, you can do this all within the, the UI as well. You can create a volume here. You can in here, you can pull your image. So if I said N8N and then look for that, you would make. And then you could manually set up a container here as well. But we're going to go ahead and put the we're going to paste it in. I'll explain a little bit on what I'm pasting in here. So if I go to terminal and I paste, so, okay, so here, so this will basically run and create a container, or sorry, it'll create a container called NNN container. That'll be the name. It's going to use the standard ports here. This is really important to set the webhook. Um, there are like 
Telegram and others that require to use the port 80 or, or 443 and not using the 5678 port by default. So that's going to be important to set that. And then also this is the volume. So it's going to create a, a volume called N8N data. And then so this is helpful because the data will persist if I shut down the container, et cetera. And then this is going to identify as what the specific image is. So if it doesn't exist, which it doesn't, it's going to go ahead and download that. So I'm going to hit enter here. Ba -ba -ba. Okay, so it couldn't identify it locally. So it's auto downloading the image. And should be there. So I'm going to go ahead and check here. So I've got, uh, let's minimize this here. So as I said, edit in data is here, but the volume. The image was downloaded here and the container is set up here and it in container. Okay. Running. So I'll do, um, set it up. Okay. I'm just going to say not using for work and Google. Never. Okay. So you can, you know, send me a free license key. I've done, I've got a bunch of them, so don't worry about that. You can skip it and boom, we're there. Now this is, you can see here, it, it automatically, when I click the links, it, it, it logs in as localhost 5678, but just to make sure, let's see. So we've got DNS records. All right. Let me go back into here, make sure that we're got it set up right. So we've got, whoops, edit. All right. So agenttestlab.com, right? So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to say NNN, agenttestlab.com. And boom. So I can access it via, now, if I did it from a different computer, it would be the same uh, success. So that's it. Uh, had it up and running. That's after stumbling in with the DNS record. So it's super easy to configure. This is great if you just want to play around with it on your own system. You don't want to pay for the the uh, cloud hosting feature. or You don't want to run your own instance in the cloud separately or anything like that. This is just a super easy way to do it. The the commands are slightly different on Windows. You've got a slightly different process to download the the uh, application that you need to install on your computer. But you could always just throw, hey, what, take this command and and make it work for you know a Windows command, uh, and it would it would make an adjustment on you know throw it into ChatGPT or one of those, and it would convert super easy. So obviously the time zone you want to set your own time zone and that sort of stuff. But anyway, that's easy. That's it. We're at nine minutes. So good luck and happy workflows.